Alright man, 25 gamers, welcome to this week's uh, advanced tip. This is going to show you, in my opinion, what is the best uh, pass, uh, best pass rush, best blitz in Madden 25. Um, it comes to us from the big nickel formation. The reason I think this is the best um, that we can possibly get is because I don't know how you could really, it, because it combines with pass coverage and pressure effectiveness and setup and, and all of that combines for this. Um, the play is the zone blitz and we like to flip it. The setup is simple. All we have to do for this blitz is um, base the line, crash line left, and we're going to use a roach in this little gap here. This is going to give us three people free at the quarterback. We're only sending seven guys well, only. That's a lot of guys. But we're sending seven guys, but we're going to get f um, three of them free at the quarterback. Why is this the best blitz in Madden 25? Well, because of the balance we have across the board. With this defense, we can um, take away anything they want to do. So, they're throwing out routes on us. We can put these corners in purple zones. We still have that deep blue zone. Our user player over the middle of the field is pretty effective. Um... And the beauty of this is if they go max protect with play action play, we still are going to get three guys free. Even though play action is better blocking than regular, still gonna not, it's, the bliss is still going to come in. So now that you know you're getting three guys free, why is that important? Well, against formations like split offset, a lot of guys in third, and guys, honestly, we don't use this play unless it's like third and 15 or third and 20. But a play... Uh, a popular thing people do is they'll come out and split and they'll block both halfbacks and call play action play thinking that virtually going to be untouchable with this blitz you're not going to be untouchable you're only sending seven you're only sending seven you're sending seven and but again you still get that pressure so that's why I like it so much um it's fast to set up you can make adjustments on what your opponent's doing. Uh, one thing I really like to do is, is buzz zone my safety and basically just recover where he was. So snap the ball, I'll buzz zone my safety, recover where he was, and sack, and there you go. So, and then also it's very flexible. We can we can run a lot of basic stuff with this. So if we wanted to send it off of the left edge, well, we can just sit in this formation as is. Call it as is, no crash. And you see, we, oh, I accidentally made a mistake there. You do want to, um, you do want to go ahead and user control your, um, your middle linebacker here. So if we want to send it off the left, what I like to do is crash my line to the left, globally zone my linebackers, and man a line. And you see, we'll get that, that pressure, and then they'll force a the throw into coverage. But a lot of things you can do from this, but it starts and ends with the ability to send a pressure that your opponent, your opponent can't, you can't stop it. You cannot stop the pressure. And this alone will, will make your defense instantly better because it's two adjustments and you're done. And you get the best blitz in the game, in my opinion. I mean... And then you can make adjustments on it. Obviously, it's not a blitz that's going to you know, send one guy free, sending two guys at the quarterback. But it's that X-factor defense that they cannot stop. That's why we like this blitz. Thank you for your time. Let us know what your best blitz you've found so far, Mad25, is in the comment section. And let us know, does it beat play action blocking? Does it beat power blocking? Power blocking is blocking both halfbacks in the backfield. Does it beat all that? If it does, then it passes my quote-unquote blitz test. And uh, it's one of the best blitzes in the game. Thank you for your time today. I hope this blitz can make you better in Man 25. And we'll see you in the next week's top five list.